Welcome to another in this series of looking for the hole in the blogosphere. Uh, and we're looking at using as many tools that Sal uses as we can because we're all kinetics. Uh, and what we're looking at here is now how to take smooth draw to make a transparent ball with stuff on it in SketchUp by doing a photo drape. And so you do that here, smooth draw, this is not the most recent, but 3.2.7 is, but this has the ability to make extra layers. And then once you have that extra layer, you can turn off the transparency in the back and export the layer. So we're going to do that. We're just going to make a ball and we're going to see if we can do it with a few different colors here. We're going to go ahead and with transparent, that's not the black, but I'm going to go ahead and draw a ballish thing there. And we're going to try to go to there and pick a color that looks green now and draft a ball here with a round Roy G. Biv-ish. And now go to the color here and change it to maybe something a little more cyan -y there. Ignoring, I guess, that line there, but we can always do an edit undo and wonder why. That was probably, in effect, something going on with our tablet here. We're using a Waco bamboo just because that's what Sal uses and we are all gonna be kinetics once again even though sometimes what's free isn't what's perfect but what do we say do not let the good be the perfect the enemy of the perfect or the perfect is the enemy of the good sorry alright so now we got something there now remember we can turn off that background layer and we have something that as we push out we save it as a PNG so we go here and we can go export layer image and you're going to export it then as what's key is the type here. The PNG will then allow you to, I'm going to go to junk two, I'll just say junk three and or junk 23. Knowing where you put things is important, but it's going to save the transparency levels. We're going to save that and it actually went out and so now I'm actually going to go ahead and close this out no get into SketchUp 8 go ahead and bring it in explode it and cast it on a ball which then takes a transparent you see those advanced tools coming we now bring in as an image we import the image file import from the place we two and we said it was Jake junk two, junk three. We use it as an image. We're going to bring it in here, kind of place it there. And if you notice, it did bring something in. And now we're going to go ahead and place a ball nearby and turn around here. And realizing as we zoom in, we can now take that ball was actually produced uh, by Sketchy Physics, so it's design a certain way we wouldn't necessarily need to do that but it's reasonable I'm going to take that and bring it down in space by locking the blue with the down error got something like that there we now see that that thing that we brought in is actually is transparent which will means that if we now it's a texture a transparent texture so if we go here now back to here and take that and right click explode on the texture we now can go to the paintbrush tool and use essentially in this case it's a control I believe control or is it alt it is alt and it allows me to pick that color up and you notice that is now my current texture and I grab that across you want to need to grab inside so I'm going to grab inside of that I'm going to have to go up underneath here I'm going to double click inside here I'm now inside of that and I can go ahead now and paint and when I paint that we find as I go ahead and get rid of that Edit, cut, go ahead and get the rest of this, edit, cut, and we have essentially what is pretty neatly a transparent ball, which we have edges on it, so we now go to view, face style, and edge style to remove our edges, view, edge style, remove our edges, and we have essentially I don't know what it's for even, but it is a transparent ball. And that transparent ball, if I try in a second here to turn on sketchy physics, will screw up, but I'll do it anyway. 
Um, I won't do it, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and move that transparent ball up. And I guarantee you there's gotta be a use for that, especially if the, the next thing you do is you start to actually go back to that concept of having things rotate and the like. So pretty simple, cool stuff immediately. If you think about it, that was just cast down, so both sides of that, but going ahead now and even with the potential of putting things inside of other things, we could go ahead and I'll go ahead and draft something simple here, push that up. Once again, in SketchUp, you very often want to, as quickly as you can, make things a group. So I'm going to right click, make it a group, and then go ahead and move it into the middle of the ball. And so now we have that thing kind of cast inside the ball. Probably great for ornaments probably good for lighting as you get things going on and so that ability remembering we just use smooth draw because it had the ability to do PNGs which keep the transparency you can more or less uh, have the neutral um, transparent background um, Photoshop great stuff not free smooth draw not so powerful but free and Sal use it and we're all becoming kinetics. Thanks for listening.